Welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. Well, we're going for a ride in Frank's RV. They want to talk to us about something, don't know what yet. Wants to get a notebook in the back somewhere, but I think I'm going to do everything before getting the notebook. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Who knew? A betting slip? Twelve hundred dollars? Way out of my league. Looks like it's from two or three weeks ago. Fight the power. Organ search and seizure law. Your guide to understanding search warrants and how to protect your assets. Definitely very important for a drug dealer. Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. Hello, you're definitely not a meth lab, and I'm definitely not interested. Oh, right, we did deface it, huh? Huh. Ew. Ugh, gross. Someone spilled baked beans. Wait. Frank got a puppy. For real? Hi there, my dog is three months old and he's still peeing everywhere. What do I do? Thanks. Puppies have accidents when they're scared. You have to stop scolding your puppy. Uh, thanks, but I don't scold him. Then why is she having accidents? Raising a puppy requires patience. If you cannot control yourself, please look deeply and honestly at whether you're really able to have a dog. What's your fucking problem, lady? I said I don't scold him. Wow, there's no need to swear. I think it's pretty clear now that you do scold her and worse. God, what a dickhead. Not Frank, that person. Ah, oh, man. Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. Oh, search history. Uh, why won't puppy eat steak? How large was biggest cloud in history? Megan Fox single, Arcadia Bay Forest Watch, property insurance fire illegal, cloud formation screensaver, Mila Kunis single, pisshead music. What age will dog eat steak? Dream about clouds meaning. Shit, the mill burned down. From Bull Crusher three four eight. Frank, I went back to the mill. Shouldn't have. I'm fucking furious. Everything's burned. Total massacre. Can't stop thinking about it. Dogs didn't make it. That's 10k gone just like that. Plus the stud fees we had coming. RF and that whole crew are gonna be pissed. How am I supposed to come back from this with my fucking reputation intact? I can't think straight on this shit right now. Just wanna find who started the fire and burn his fucking face. Uh oh. Okay, a couple things here. Um. One, yeah, these pay stubs are definitely about dogfighting. Or not the, not the pay stubs, but the, the betting stubs, rather. Because they look like maybe dog names? Yeah, this pretty much confirms it. So the mill burned, and apparently there were fighting dogs in there. Because they say that's 10k gone just like that. I mean, probably fighting dogs? I would think. It's most likely fighting dogs, unless they're just, like, breeders breeding really expensive dogs. I'd most likely dog, dog fighting, given what sorts of people these are. Secondly, holy shit, yeah, Rachel, I mean, that's the thing that's so fucking terrifying about a forest fire, and also why it's so horrible what she did. It's because, I mean, you can't predict what the hell's gonna happen with a forest fire. It can burn down hundreds of people's homes, it can kill people, it can kill dogs like it just did, so, Rachel, good job, you fucking killed some dogs. Also, second thing, I want to find who started the fire and burn his fucking face. I'm guessing that's why Frank came to get us. Um, remember we, at the end of episode one, remember we saw that woman wearing white, who just came out of the RV before we got here, and who also is with, um, with Rachel Amber's dad? Yeah, at the end of the first episode, we saw her just, like, smoking and watching the fire burn. I think she may have saw us. 
So I think she maybe is kind of acting as an informant. This person wants to find who started the fire and burn their face. I imagine they'd probably pay for that information. So... I'm guessing Frank is in a bit of a bind. Because now I guess he probably knows about what's happening and I'm in super big danger. Not to mention, given that he obviously loves dogs, I'm betting he probably doesn't like this person. Certainly would have a huge problem with dogfighting. I mean, dogfighting is absolutely fucking horrible. Jeez. That's an expensive dog. Frank, you like the dog? I thought you would. That dog is special, man. Callie's buyer wanted him and I said fuck off. Keep your 3k. I'm saving him for my buddy Frank. I mean it. Everything you've done for me adds up way more than 3k. Don't thank me. This is from me to you. Just let me breed him later. Damon. That's from the same person. Hmm. Okay, maybe maybe it's not dogfighting then. Maybe it is breeding. I don't know. But what about this betting slip? Oh, man. I hope Argus and Bowser are... Okay. I mean, Argus v, Argus v Bowser, those are... They gotta be dogs. Hmm. Bomb sauce. For the man who enjoys searing pay with his drive through order. Wonder what Frank eats when he gets the munchies. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Frank, why do you have so many cans of baked beans? That's... my god. That's an insane amount of beans. Don't you get tired of eating the same thing? All the time? Beer, toilet paper, milk. Got it. <laughs> Why can't I select the cereal box? Come on. There we go. Part of a balanced breakfast. You're trying to hide it from me. I guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy. Don't mind if I do. Whoops, didn't mean Don't to. Don't even fucking think about Ooh. it. Damn. Didn't mean to cut Chloe off. Frank must be spending hundreds of dollars on this dog. Have they started eating steak yet? Wait, what was that? Is that graffiti? Or just, like, interaction around the wall? Oh yeah, just the fridge. Okay, little guy. Mm, puppy. Oh, shit. Pompadou, get up here. <laughs> Pompadou. Look at that fat little puppy. You little killer. That's a good puppy. Yeah, so I remember Pompadou from the original Life is Strange. I guess we saw them all growing up there. Uh, what did we just get? Not another journal entry, right? Oh, just a text message. Uh, two of them? One from Justin. Oh, I already read that. It's the one about that book group. But this one's new. Um, 
still can't believe you got suspended. If you need someone to talk to, let me know. Or if you want another hug. Uh, I think I'm good for now. <laughs> Seriously, I'm here for you. Cool, thanks. I don't know if that's... I can't tell if that's sarcastic or not. The cool thanks. I don't know if that's like, cool, thanks, or... Cool, thanks. Okay, we gotta put the dog. Can we pet the dog? I can't do anything with the dog. No. Oh. Been tearing up the place. Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. Guess Frank finally gave up on the steak. Wonder how long that steak's gonna stay good for. A throne fit for Frank. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. Is this what I think it is? Ah, shit. I'm in the red. Yeah, $175 though, it's not that bad. It's a lot better than Drew, who's in for $1,050. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Let's get an answer. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Oh, I guess it's like giving me the tutorial again because this is a new episode. I guess I haven't done back talk in this episode yet. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna tell? Come on, Price, I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Hey, so... Uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? I'm... I'm not. Just hanging with a friend here. A friend I don't know much about. Tell me, Frank. Seeing any girls lately? I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You... You got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. Shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks for telling me. Whatever. It's interesting. So they only showed up a few weeks ago. So did this affair then just start happening in the past couple weeks? Or... Did Sarah perhaps come here 
Like, maybe they'd gotten into a relationship somewhere else, and that's why Sarah came here? You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Mm. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Yeah, that fat little pupper. Also, yeah, it's definitely dogfighting. And Frank definitely has a problem with it. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? <laughs> I'm sure Chloe does not. Don't you have richer clients to bother? I should fucking hope so. Well, good. Because I need everything I've got. You're a pain in the ass. I've got bigger problems right now. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Y yeah, he's... Oh, holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. <laughs> Whoa, so Drew North, is that... Oh, it's this asshole. And running Oxy for Damon. Do I have them here? No, haven't met a Damon yet. Um, let's go ahead and read this, now that they're more important. Drew North is Mikey's older brother, and the two of them couldn't be more different. Drew is a legit jock, like the type that spends hours a day in the gym and has nicknames for his biceps. I've never been to a Bigfoots game, but I hear he's actually really good at throwing stuff into other stuff, or whatever. Mikey told me that Drew's planning to go to college on an athletic scholarship, which is good because their family's even poorer than mine. Their dad was one of the fishermen who lost his job because of the Prescott Corporation. As you might imagine, this put Nathan on Drew's shit list. Not a good list to be on. In the war between a meathead and a shithead, does anyone win? Anyway, I don't think Drew's really a bad guy, but I guess I wouldn't know. It's like we exist in two completely different planes of existence that happen to be in the same school. Happy to keep it that way. That's smart. I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? No. I never talked to him. Or his type. No one's just a type, Price. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Is it too much to say what's in it for me? I mean, I do owe them money, but I'm never gonna pay them. Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. Yeah. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackball. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal.
Didn't think I'd be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry up and get into the dorms. Well, I guess I got a couple things on my side. I'm not reading the text right now, by the way. Just letting it scroll through. Um, I've got a couple things on my side as far as being able to get through this without being caught. One is that I guess I could maybe say I'm there for the Tempest play? Maybe? Uh, and the other thing is... I mean, who's likely to catch me? Like, if they sick uh, Skip on me, I'm pretty sure Skip will, you know, be fine with me just saying, Yeah, just came for whatever, you know. He'll be cool with it. Uh, back at school yet again, they've got some tents up for dressing rooms. What are you up to? I'm here too, actually. Running an errand for my dealer. <laughs> oh, really? So bad. Come see me when you're done. Help me cope with the shittiness of seeing Victoria Chase in my costume. Yeah, for sure. P.S. I saw that woman that your dad was with coming out of my dealer's RV. What? Apparently she's causing trouble for a lot of people or something. Her name's Sarah? Rachel? I think maybe I prefer not knowing her name. Oh, my bad. Uh, no, it's fine. See you soon. Oh, do we have a new journal entry, by the way? Aha, uh -huh, we do. How do you know when it's... or Max, how do you know when it's time to take a relationship to the next level? I'm talking about my drug dealer, Frank, of course. He wants me to do a job for him, picking up money from Drew North. You know Drew, Blackwell's premier jock strap, and now apparently oxy dealer. Dude's in pretty deep, it seems. But it should be an easy job, and besides, I could use the money for mine and Rachel's escape fund. Which, speaking of Rachel, guess who's skis ball? Guess who's skis ball dad's side piece I saw coming out of Frank's RV? I pressed Frank for info and learned that her name is Sarah, and she's only been around for a couple weeks. Oh, and she loves the drugs. Weird. Alright, off to make my triumphant return to Blackwell. At least I'm getting paid to go there this time. Chloe, the criminally awesome. I should come hang around here during finals. Make everybody jealous. What would I buy if I had enough money to build a whole dorm? Probably not a dorm. Prescott Dormitory. Prescott's have put so much money into this Drew's place. This room definitely isn't this way. I know, I know, but I'm looking for stuff to graffiti. What's going on here? Oh, <gasps> wait, concrete. Can I, like, mess it up? Oh my god. Welcome to hell. I always knew that one day Miss Price would leave an indelible mark upon this school. <laughs> Can I add more footsteps to it? Nah, just those. Alright, fair enough. doesn't feel different. I don't belong here anymore. It's not my school. I, uh, I don't have a school. 
But nothing feels different. Everything still feels shitty. And here I am, about to break into the freaking dorm so I can steal money that True owes my drug dealer. This is gonna go great. I've always liked how Life is Strange allows you to just hang out somewhere, enjoy the view, and hear the characters' thoughts. It's really nice. Just... Ugh. No interest in starting an interfaith discussion group open to anyone and everyone. And someone wrote next to it, looks like someone got rejected from Vortex Club. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Calamastia. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So, what are you doing here? Uh, I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? Yeah, I know. It's not really my thing. Uh, <laughs> kinda hoping it's a shit show. What the hell? I'm the stage manager. Oh, I think I knew that. <laughs> my bad. You better mean it. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. I am worried about Victoria coming in now and trying to hog every scene, but the cast overall is fantastic. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Yeah, everybody's really trying to get me to go see The Tempest. Okay. Now you just unconvinced me. Why am I not surprised? Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. It's... It's... Confusing. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe? You know you can, right? I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. Ah, the gardener. If I remember right, they were very strange and creepy. It kind of seemed like they were a red herring for who might be, like, the killer. Unless that's someone else. Oh, there's just one of the students. Yeah, just photographing it. I guess the groundskeeper isn't here. There's Evan, putting his pretentious art above his sanity, as usual. In a way, that's kind of badass. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home, thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks... really ridiculous. 
I'm gonna mock him. He's annoying. <laughs> Pretty bird, though. Hey, uh, Evan? As intelligent as you look right now, y you can still see that bird from where I'm standing. I appreciate your concern, but I want to get this shot exactly right. And I've learned something about myself recently. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. Forest fires, for example. You were the only person who signed my petition. I mean, seriously signed it. That's pretty sad. I'm a low bar, but did you really expect people to care? People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? Evan, you're pretty stuck up. Did you know that? It's fine. The first sign of greatness is people disliking you. I anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. Man, Evan's so annoying, that ego. Also, it's pretty ironic that Chloe uh, is the only one that seriously signed that fire petition. And then, you know, kind of sort of involved in starting the forest fire that's going on right now. Oh, that's a sprinkler. I was trying to figure out what that was on the ground. Oh, there's the groundskeeper. Samuel. Blackwell's a resident creepy groundskeeper. Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? Yeah, um... I've gotta go, man. Uh, it's been real. Be kind to yourself, Chloe Price. Nice work, Samuel. Such a nice white door. Though, it feels like it's missing something, doesn't it? Too bad I can't tag it with Samuel standing right there. Yeah, how do I get him out of here? Looks like they're messing with, like, the sprinkler system. Huh. <laughs> That's some intellectual shit, Samuel. I guess I could try speaking with them again? Maybe if I tell them more, something will happen? I don't know, so yeah, they're trying to do something with a sprinkler. Can I do something with it? Blackwell Academy. Conserving water since... never. Uh. Mm -hmm. What's this? Max would have jumped on that photographer position. Come right for Blackwell's oldest and only student newspaper. Hmm. Is there some switch I can flip to, like, I don't know, start the sprinklers or something? Well, I guess it probably would be this. Okay, let's talk to him again. The prodigal girl returns. What shall we talk about? What do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. That's, uh, deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels? Or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? Mm. Too real for Chloe right now. 
I'm, uh, <laughs> looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. He's also a drug dealer. He is? A great heart he has, with much love and no room for fear. <sighs> I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that, too. No one is just one thing. So, uh, what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants me to see. Okay? Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. What do I want people to see? Someone strong and fierce who does what she wants and doesn't care what others think. I don't care what others think. Of course you do. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. I've got to go, man. Uh, <laughs> it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. It was interesting, but it didn't bring me any closer to getting them out of that room. Well, I looked around a couple times and I couldn't find any anything at all. I even tried speaking to Steph and Drew again. Oh, was it true? Eric? Evan? I don't know, he's some generic dude. So, perhaps I do it on the way back out? Maybe something changes? I don't know. Locked. <laughs> Figures. No. Oh. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Maybe. You? Ah, perfect. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? Okay, so that probably unlocked my ability to do something with the sprinklers. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. Uh, you shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. Can I? Okay, yeah, scare the bird away. Sorry, little bird. Hey! Shit. I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Hmm. <sighs> They're probably just going to do the same thing again if I scare them, right? Just go to the other pile. <laughs> Time for a fresh start. Smart little bird. Alright, well there's another pile of seeds over there. <laughs> Do I have to like find the right path? That's an interesting little mini game. Uh, I don't know, we'll try this one. Here we go. If I can scare that bird far enough away, maybe Evan won't see me break that. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. You're welcome. Nice, we both benefit. Oh, 
Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. Perfect opportunity. I guess they had to clean it up, huh? Sorry, Samuel. Can I take all the keys? I guess she doesn't know which one all is right. the Time to find Drew's room. Or does it also have a key to Drew's room as well? No time like the present. Skip, how's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get suspended? Um... I'm on a secret drug-related mission, Skip. Under the authority of the Arcadia Bay District Attorney's Office. Really? No. Dude, I, I'm just visiting a friend. I can't... I really can't just let you go in. Ooh, I, I don't want to just force my way in. I'm pretty sure I can just convince Skip to let me in, right? Mm. I feel like I should go with the top one, but I feel like I should go with the left one. Skip, I break the rules and you think it's awesome. Let me break this rule for old time's sake. I want to, Chloe, but I really can't. Ah, oh, damn it. I listened to Pisshead. I listened to Pisshead. It was good, man. I don't think we have a choice. I'm going inside, dude. You're just going to have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. Oh, I don't like this. What's my official business? I'm going to the bathroom. Is that what you wanted to hear? Is that interesting to you? What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. Your job is creepy, then. Which makes you kind of a creeper. It's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? You know Wells doesn't really respect you, right? You're just a, a rent-a-cop who needs a haircut. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I thought we were friends, too, but when the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? 
Look, look, look! I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. Just look the other way, Skip. It's not like I'm up to anything criminal. I just need to use the bathroom. I, I don't know what to do. Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. What? Is that, uh, descriptive enough? I don't want to know, but... En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Matthews. Huh. I'm here? I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. Oh, that was so awkward. I'm sorry, Skip. Uh, let's see. So yeah, the unknown vehicle is definitely Frank's massive RV. Kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. Um... How's it going? Have you found it yet? Chill out, man. It's been like five minutes. It's been 20. Okay, okay. I'm on it. Hurry up. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to try to get into Drew's dorm.